I'm uh, initially just going to introduce the next item on the, tonight's agenda, if that's the right expression, the NAS Legacy Foundation Award. Uh, many of you in the, in the hall will remember Mr. Bakari, Naz Bakari, who was the previous principal besides before myself and, and Ms. Sheikh. So he was the teacher of this college uh, for 14 years and a, a brilliant man and a brilliant educator who worked incredibly hard to make the college part of the, make the college what it is today. Um, I may say a few more things about what it is today uh, later on. Um, his family, uh, because Naz died some time ago, I didn't have a good retirement, but it was a relatively short one perhaps, and, and he died uh, some years ago. His family decided they, that they wanted to uh, make a record of his uh, love of this institution, and have presented last year and again this year, and intend to for many years into the future, the, the NAS Legacy Foundation Award, which is an award to support a young person who leaves our college uh, aged 17, 18, into university uh, the, each year. So can I, can I welcome uh, Kenya, his daughter, and Paris, son, who are sat in the front here. Um, they may come up and say a few words, but they may not. And if they don't, please, they will talk to you afterwards, and you can talk to them about what they're trying to do with this particular award. Um, the, the person who won it last year was uh, Imran Sanuela, who legitimately says it's changed his life. And I don't want to take away from what he's going to say, He's going to say a few words to you, and then he, as a measure of how he's grown in life and in stature, is going to present it to the student who's won it this year. So, uh, Imran, would you like to say a few words? Um, well, first and foremost, congratulations to all of you on graduating. Um, spending seven years in Bevin, it's barely hard. So you got through that, well done. Um, so... First, um, I want to say what the NASA Legacy Foundation gave to me over the last year. So it's been exactly a year since I was sat where you guys are currently sat. And I just expected it to be a year in university and do three years, get out, get a job, pretty much in love. And quite a lot of you guys must be thinking the same. But NASA Legacy Foundation changed that. Changed that in a way that I can truly say, as Mr. Chibber said, that it changed my life. I don't see the world in the same way. I don't see the world as the elitist being everything and Bevan boys being near the bottom. And you're always told, oh, you're a Bevan boy. Hmm. And that's the expression that you will get from most people. But what the Nazar Legacy Foundation showed to me is that you can literally do anything. Um, I've met top ranking politicians, top ranking people in their own professions. And meeting them, it shows you that they're not that different from all of you sat here right now. Whether you're going to win this award or not, all of you can do it, and believe me when I say that. So my tip, not just for the winner, but for all of you, is in the coming year, in the coming three years, if you don't ask for it, you will get it. In Bevin, you're always, uh, the teachers always help you out, and there's massive round of applause needed for the teachers for the seven years that have committed to us. But after, the, uh, after this evening, it all changes. You have to ask for it yourself. And don't be scared. Just go out there and ask for it, because the worst that can happen is a no. And that's something that the Foundation has taught me. Second thing is whatever you choose to do, commit to it. Go for it full heartedly. Because if you commit to it properly and hard enough, you can do it. No, and no one can come in your way. Mr. Bakari once said, it's not what you do in your life that really matters. It's the legacy that you leave behind for the next generation that really makes a difference. And the person that's going to continue that legacy tonight, and the winner of the Naz Bakari Award, is Omar Oladisio.
but to to be honest, it's probably a handful of other students who could have probably deserved this award as well. So that's probably another testament to the staff and to my peers. So just want to say thanks to everyone and hope I can do the family justice with this award. Thanks.